Hey guys, how's it going today? Uh, today's lesson is a very quick and easy one. G20 versus G21. Uh, what are these G codes? Uh, they're G codes that let the machine and the controller know how you want to move your axis. Um, so when you're talking about moving your axis, I mean moving in inches or millimeters, so metric versus imperial. So G20 would be letting the machine know that you are in imperial, which is inches. G21 is letting the machine know you are in metric millimeters. These, both of these G codes here, they are modal, meaning you have to uh, call up like the other G code. So like if you're in G20, uh, in order to get out of G20, you're gonna have to call up G21 and vice versa for G21 to go to G20. Um, quick, quick couple things about them. You, uh, these are not converters. So if you, uh, if you start out your program in G20 and all your coordinates are in inches and then all of a sudden your boss comes up to you and says hey since this blueprint is in metric i want all the numbers in the program to represent you know the metric i want them to you know be converted from inches to millimeters you just can't plug in g21 and, and the machine will convert them all over it doesn't work that way you have to go into the program yourself and convert those numbers uh, from imperial to metric uh, here's what a quick program would look like for a, uh, to see where you'd want the G20. So, you know, you got your percent sign, you got the program name, call out the tool, and then G20, putting it in Imperial. And then after that, then you are allowed to call up your coordinates. You can't call up the coordinates until you specify what, whether you're in G20 or G21. Now, a lot of machines... They will be preset to already know it's in G20 or G21, so you don't actually have to put those in your program. But um, it's always good to have a, a G20 or G21 in your program that you can actually see for reassurance and make sure you uh, you know what, what metric or imperial system you're using. So other than that, have a great day.